Real life English for everyone. Real life English for everyone. Learn English with Jessica. Improve your English after 30 minutes. Let's go. Whose side are you on anyway? Yesterday, I washed the dishes. It's your turn today. Why do I have to wash dishes? I help mom cook dinner. How did you help? You only washed a few leaves of vegetables. How about you? You did nothing. How do you know? I cleaned the dinner table. Cleaning the dining table is simple. Anyway, you have to wash the dishes today. I want to watch TV. Can you two move? Mary, tell me. Who is wrong? Edward or me? Mary, you see? Alice is absurd. Edward helped Mom cook dinner. He only washed a few leaves of vegetables. Alice cleaned the dinner table. That's very simple. I washed the dishes yesterday. Whose side are you on, anyway? I don't know. Don't ask me. This is not an issue for me. Did you meet the girl you chatted with on the dating app? Yes, I met her. Do you like her? Yes. But she is a vegetarian. That is not an issue for me. Really? Yeah, I will go vegan with her when we go on a date. But she can't join you for steak, your favorite dish. I can't compare steak to her. Furthermore, she doesn't mind me eating meat or fish. I respect her, everything about her. Wow, you're so cool to say that. Do you think you will be a vegetarian? Maybe. Always be kind, even to strangers. Would you like to borrow my math notebook? Yes, thank you. Here you are. I'll give it back to you tomorrow. Tomorrow, my family will have a barbecue party. Do you want to come? Can I? Of course. The more the merrier. Okay, I'm in. Thanks, Linda. Look, there is an old woman who has trouble crossing the street. She needs help. Thank you so much. You're so kind. You're really kind, Linda. My grandma said, always be kind, even to strangers. I always remember that saying. Your grandmother is also kind. Let's head back, it's freezing. I really want to eat fried chicken at the restaurant. Me too. In this cold weather, eating hot, crispy fried chicken and drinking hot chocolate is delicious. I'm going to the restaurant. Do you want to get with me? Right now? Yes. Do you think it's too cold to go outside? I don't know. Go and we will know. Anyway, I really want to eat that chicken, my brother. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, I didn't think it was so cold. I think we'll freeze to death before we get there. I think so. Let's head back, it's freezing. Sure. Twenty-four seven. Hello, David. It's Bella. Can you do me a favor? 
Sure, what's wrong? I'm at 8 King Street now. Can you come pick me up? I kept calling my mom, but she didn't pick up the phone. Sure, I'll come right away. Thank you. Thanks so much. No trouble at all. You can call me 24-7. I'm always happy to help you. Thanks. I don't know why my mom didn't pick up the phone. I'm a bit worried. Maybe she fell asleep because she was tired. You know, mothers work all day. They never have a day off. You're right. Anyway, thanks for giving me a ride. Who knows the answers to these questions? Have you ever met someone who was very good at chemistry? No. Have you? Yes. One of my classmates. His name is Wang. Chemistry is the subject I hate the most. I prefer drawing anyway. So... In chemistry class, every time the teacher asks, who knows the answers to these questions, Wang always answers those questions. He's always correct. You should be friends with him. Why? You're bad at chemistry and he can help you. But how do I make friends with him? Draw a picture of him studying in class and give it to him. Everyone loves the pictures you draw. You're truly a genius. They don't live near here. What will you do this weekend? I will have dinner with my parents. Do they live in this city? Yes. How about your parents? Do they live near here? No, they don't live near here. They're in Mexico right now. Oh, they live so far from you. Yeah, I don't visit my parents very often because they live so far away. I can only visit them on holidays like Christmas. Do you miss them? Yes, a lot. I think I will arrange a few days off to visit them. He didn't work hard enough. Is your test okay? It's not good, but it's not too bad either. How about you? I'm pretty proud of my score this time. I tried to study every night. Congratulations. What's wrong with Daniel? He looks sad. His test score wasn't what he wanted. Why? He's very smart and usually gets good marks. Smart is not enough. You need to work hard also. You're right. He didn't work hard enough, I guess. Poor him. He seems very sad. Yeah. I can't come home early today. Hello, honey. Honey, go ahead and eat. Don't wait for me. Why? The boss just announced there will be an unscheduled meeting. All employees must stay. I can't come home early today. I can wait for you. No, honey. I'm afraid that you will be hungry while waiting for me. Okay. I'll invite my sister to dinner with me, and I'll buy you something for dinner. Thank you. Don't work too hard. I won't. See you, honey. Bye, honey. Take your time. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you calling at this time? Do you know what today is? 
What do you mean? Today we travel. Why am I the only one who remembers this? Today? Yes, I'm at Edward's house. Oh my god. Wait a minute. I wash my face, take a shower, and immediately drive to Edward's house. Take your time. Edward also forgot about today's trip. He just woke up. Okay. Wait a minute. What date is today? Saturday, December 10th. Really? Yeah. Our trip is next Saturday, December 17th. Oh. Sorry. Is it okay for me to use the computer? Are you using the computer now, Henry? No, what's up? Is it okay for me to use the computer? I need to do some research for my next presentation. Sure, you can use it for one hour. After that, I need my computer back because I have to write my report too. All right. What is your presentation about? It's about global warming. Wow, environmental problems, huh? Yeah, that's why I need to search a lot on the internet. Do you do this alone or in group work? In group work, and I have to prepare for the current situation part. I see. Okay, you can use it. Is it possible for you to carry this for me? Welcome back, Tracy. Gosh, you have so much luggage. Yeah, and I'm really struggling with it now. Is it possible for you to carry this for me? Yes, why not? Let me help you. Oh, so heavy. I remember you only took one bag with you when you left. But now why are there two more bags? I went back to my hometown, and my relatives gave me a lot of gifts. I needed to borrow my parents' luggage to bring all of the gifts back. Wow, your relatives are so nice. I think it's been five years since I went back home, and that's why they treated me so well. Good for you. Is it okay if I turn off the light? Oh, so bright. I cannot sleep. Nancy, is it okay if I turn off the light? I'm sorry, but I'm still studying. The light is too bright for me to sleep. Can you study with the lamp instead? That's a great idea, but my lamp is broken. Don't worry. If you need to study, I can lend you my lamp. It's on my desk. You can use it. Oh, thank you so much. And sorry for bothering you. It's okay. By the way, it's already 12 a.m. Do you have enough energy for studying now? I have a lot of homework, so I have to try hard. All right, good luck then. Thank you. Is it possible to pay in U.S. dollars? Hello, I want to pay for my bill. Is it possible to pay in U.S. dollars? I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid that you need to convert to Canadian dollars to buy here. Oh, no. I forgot to change to Canadian dollars when I traveled here. What should I do? Don't worry, sir. There's a bank opposite our restaurant. You can go there to exchange your money first. Then you can come back here to pay for your bill. Will you accept that? Yes, we will. You just need to leave your items here and come back later. 
All right, I will come back in 15 minutes. We will wait for you, sir. Is it possible for me to borrow some funds? Hey, John, are you free now? Yeah, I'm pretty free now. May I ask you for a favor? Sure, go ahead. Is it possible for me to borrow some funds? How much do you need? 50 US dollars, is that okay? Well, it's fine, but I just want to know what you will use this money for. Honestly, I am saving money to buy a new laptop. However, after three months of saving, the money is still not enough. I need $50 more. Oh, I see. Laptops are quite important for our daily lives. All right, I will lend it to you. Thank you so much. Is it necessary for me to wait? Hey, Lucy, why are you standing here? Are you waiting for someone? Yeah, I'm waiting for our English teacher, Mrs. Linda. I want to say thank you to her for teaching us in this course. Wow, is it necessary for me to wait? No, you don't have to. It's optional. But I have learned a lot from her lectures, so I just want to say thank you. Where is she now? She's talking with other teachers. Well, I guess I will wait for her with you. I want to say thank you to her, too. Is it possible for you to call me back later? Hello? Hi, Jane. It's me, Mary. Oh, hi, Mary. Are you free now, Jane? I want to talk to you for a bit, if you don't mind. Sorry, but I'm helping my mom with dinner now. Is it possible for you to call me back later? Okay, sure. When is it convenient for you? How about 8 p.m.? Sounds good. Okay, see ya. Hey, Mary, thank you for calling me back. It's okay, Jane. I'm just kind of bored, so I want to call you. Ah, you want to chit-chat? All right, go ahead. Well... Is it pouring outside? I heard some noise like rain. Is it pouring outside? Let me open the curtain. Ah, yes, it is. Oh no, I hung my clothes outside. Gosh, hurry up and pick up the clothes. Ah, why is it suddenly raining so heavily? I have no idea. The forecaster said today would be sunny. Now most of my clothes are wet and dirty. I have to wash them all again. Just put all of them in the washing machine. I believe it will be sunny again in the afternoon. Some of the clothes need hand washing. All right, let me give you a hand. Thanks a lot. Is it the same thing? Can you help me take out the garbage, Anna? I'm about to do the washing up. No, I will be the one who washes the dishes. You should take out the garbage. Wait, is it the same thing? 
well, yeah, it's all the same. But I don't want to go outside in such cold weather like this. I want to stay indoors. All right, let me take out the garbage this time. But you have to do it next time. I will do it when the weather is warmer. Come on, I also feel cold. All right, how about you do it on weekdays and I do it on weekends? That's still not fair. Is the train on its way? I've been waiting for the train for so long. Is the train on its way? I think it will be five minutes late due to the weather. Ah, uh, yeah, it's snowing right now. Yeah, it's been really difficult to drive in this weather. Do you enjoy the snowy season? Nah, I'm not really into it. I hate feeling cold. My favorite seasons are spring and autumn. Same here. I love the mild temperature. I don't like it when it's too cold or too hot. Yeah, but we cannot change anything. Let's bear this weather together. Only one month left before spring comes. Your dress is so lit. Hey, Jane! What's up, Violet? Welcome to the party! Wow, your dress is so lit! Really? Thanks a lot! I had never thought that purple suits me! No way! You are gorgeous in purple outfits! I think I should say thank you to my boyfriend. He bought it for me! Aw, your boyfriend is so considerate! I'm so jealous of it, you know! Thanks! Sometimes I feel like my boyfriend is way better at choosing outfits than me. No way. Guess what? I heard through the grapevine that Jesse and Tom are dating. What? No way! Shh, quiet! It's just a rumor. Please don't tell anyone else in our office about this. Okay, okay, you have my word on it. But who did you hear from? Well, Tracy told me that she heard it from Linda. How could Linda know? Linda heard the rumor from David and spread it to Tracy. Wait, what? Doesn't it mean I'm the last person in our department who knew about their dating? Oh, you're right. I just realized that. I'm heading home after school. What are you gonna do, Tom? I'm heading home after school. Why don't you play football with us? That's a good idea, but I have too much homework to deal with tonight. What a pity. We need one more member for our team. I'm sorry, but I can't. Maybe next time. All right. Do you know anyone else who can play football? How about Peter? He used to play with me when we were in secondary school. But now he's pursuing swimming. Really? I didn't know that he could play many sports. Let me ask him. Thank you. What is your take on the starry night? Wow, look at that magnificent painting. Is that an artwork of Vincent van Gogh? Yes, that's right. What is your take on the starry night? Hmm, my first impression was all about the dark but bright sky. It makes me feel like there is still hope even in the darkest days. Wow, actually I have the same feeling as you. 
I really like his blend of color, representing both bad and good memories from his childhood. Couldn't agree more. Apart from the Starry Night, are there any other Van Gogh artworks that you enjoy? I particularly enjoy Starry Night over the Rhone. Really? Another Starry Night? Yeah. It's about the night near the Rhone Riverbank. It must be stunning. I'm a bit on edge because of the show. Are you ready, guys? Definitely. Actually, I'm a bit on edge because of the show. Is this your first time? Yeah, that's why I'm quite nervous. Just take a deep breath and relax, James. We can do it together. Yeah, honestly, this is also my first time to be on a big stage like this one. If I said I wasn't under the gun, it would be a lie. Don't worry, guys. We're going to sail through it. Okay. Let's do a high five before we meet the audience. Let's, Let's try, try our best, best everyone. everyone. We had to scrap the picnic because of the weather. Good afternoon, Jack. I thought you were out today. Yeah, actually, my family and I had a picnic planned. But we had to scrap the picnic because of the weather. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, and it looks like it's going to rain heavily. So, what are you going to do if you don't go on a picnic? I'm thinking of playing chess. Cool. Can I join? Definitely, because I cannot play chess alone. <laughs> That's so true, bro. <laughs> Just give me a few minutes to pick up the clothes first, then I'll come to your house. Sure thing. An idea just popped into my head. Ugh. I really got stuck on this presentation. Same here. I have no idea what theme we should choose. Our professor is a little strict, so we'd better choose something unique. That's the hardest part. Hey, an idea just popped into my head. What's up? How about we choose climate change as our theme? Environmental issues again? Don't you think it's going to be dull when everyone hears it? But this time, we're going to focus on the solutions. People have been talking about the effects of climate change. We can introduce new innovations to everyone. Good idea. We're going to solve this burning issue and convince everyone with our solutions. If so, we'd better start researching now. Yeah, let's get down to working. I'm sorry for standing you up the other day. I'll make it up to you today. I'm here, Billy! Thanks for waiting for me, Helen. It's okay. I'm quite amazed that you're on time today. I'm sorry for standing you up the other day. I'll make it up to you today. Aw, you still remember? Actually, I already forgave you, but look how sweet you are. Okay, I'm ready. What surprise are you bringing for me today? Just wait and you'll see. First, we will go to an Indian restaurant near here. Fantastic! I want to try Indian curry. It's important to make time to exercise. Hello, Dr. Brown. Good morning. Please have a seat. How have you been lately, Lily? I think I'm improving, Dr. Brown. 
I've been following a strict diet that you recommended to me. And it works quite well. I lost three kilograms last month. Good to hear that. Did you try exercising? Not yet. I'm too busy for that. It's important to make time to exercise. A balanced diet is not enough, you know. Okay, I got it. Any recommendations for sports and exercises? I think you can start with going jogging every day. You can also follow some cardio workouts to burn fat on YouTube. Cats often attack your ankles when they're bored. Your cats are too adorable to handle, Amy. Ouch! This cat just hurt me. <laughs> cats often attack your ankles when they're bored. Really? But why ankles? No idea. It's kind of like one of their habits. Or maybe because of their natural hunting instinct. Really? Cats are so complicated. I'm a cat lover, but I would love to have a dog. They are loyal and much friendlier than cats. Well, even though I'm into cats, I couldn't agree more with your point. But still, I'm not responsible enough to raise a pet. I can't even take care of myself. Trust me, once you raise pets, you'll realize you have many amazing skills. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.